But no, you net it. They have yeah, uh, but still sometimes they said, Oh, today we caught one, so you can't yeah, see. You just have to be careful yeah. when a lot of people. Oh, if
Boom, she la. Boom, she la. No, boom, she la. It's beautiful. Ganda nitong ano nito, itong flowers na to. Ito mo, yung red, no? Wow. basahin mo nga sa magkikita pero 11.30 pa diba
the shops closed at the moment, so Miranda is really quiet. Nagtiniil na sila. Can I? Meron ba sa Melbourne yan? Dagan? Guys, it's 
Pati gusto ko yung malaki eh. Next! Tayo, tayo siya dyan. Gusto rin yung da, dapuan siya. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
a worry, but it's a southern one.
truck sounds like when it goes backwards. Okay, off you go. Free to go. Just, uh, it's already gone. On, just lean in and beep. Beep. Yeah, beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. That's it, keep going. Beep, beep, beep. That's it, keep going. Beep, beep, beep. Nearly there. Beep, 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 beep. A little bit more. Beep, beep, beep. Nearly there. Beep, beep, beep. Up.
can appear at any time throughout Rainforest Station Park, so whenever you're outside, just keep your eyes open, have a look around, and you might be rewarded with a glimpse of the Ulysses butterfly. So uh, just where we come out of the water here, up on the right, there's a, um, a shrub there called a, uh, a native tibicina, and occasionally it gets purple flowers on it. I don't see any at the moment. There's another Ulysses butterfly in front of us as well. I think it's landed, so keep an eye out. Take off in a minute, you'll see the blue. But that one's called a native tibicina, and at the bottom of the purple flowers, there's a, a, a small berry that will grow. The berry is edible. It's not especially nutritious or tasty, but you can eat it safely. Uh, but the only problem is that after you eat those berries, uh, the fruits and larger seeds. And there are quite a few seeds that won't germinate at all unless they pass through the gut of the cassowary. So that's what makes a cassowary a keystone species, is because they are crucial to the survival of about 100 different species and they're also very important for the overall health of the whole rainforest. So I'll just stop here briefly in case anyone wants the water. So they're sometimes called Jesus when they swim in that size. So they're pretty versatile in water, they can swim through it, uh, hold their breath for half an hour, or occasionally even run across the top. The land is here with the big leaves. A bit of a, bit of a giveaway there. Banana. banana. That's a Papua New Guinea cooking banana. banana. It gets uh, big red bananas, but they're not very nice to eat. You can cook and eat the bananas. You can also cook and eat the uh, flour there that comes out of them. They're quite a small banana, but they are very sweet and tasty. Much nicer than the ones down the bottom. In behind the bananas is part of our tropical fruit orchard, the uh, 40 or 50 different varieties of exotic fruits that we have around here. If you've got a few minutes to spare, you can wander through the orchard and read some of the information about the different trees and where they come from. And uh, a bit more coffee up here. You can see all the coffee cherries on that one. Some of them are just starting, starting to change colour there now. These trees in front of us are jackfruit trees, or ball or me. They get the largest tree-born fruit in the world. They can get over 40 kgs or more. Well, OK, folks, that's about it for the tour. Uh, thanks very much for coming along with me today. on a rockery ball. Your head level you release. Put a straight in front of you. Is that a 12 o'clock angle? Left hand is clock dial. 12 o'clock, tilt to 11 o'clock. Right hand is tilt to 1 o'clock. Okay. You young people know that? You know the old time yet? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. That's going to help a turn, guys. Nice. Left leg forward, left leg, other leg, other leg. Left. 
Yes. All right, bring it back. Then how about stop? Get that free. When you're ready. That's it. Very good. He's about to beat everybody. All right, keep it coming, guys. Good night. Good night, my friend.
one rob had its men work on eight tunnel faces at once. Gangs of men tunneled in from the mountain face and worked on digging sections of the main tunnel. Without modern survey equipment, it was a remarkable achievement to join all eight tunnel faces. You can see it here. It's here, it's here. Yeah, it's here. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 